What's up guys, welcome back to the Detail Garage. Today, Jeremy and myself were cleaning this black Lexus. In the previous video, we washed this using our new Vitalize wash, but uh, the owner told us that the whole hood wasn't coated. I guess it had something wrong with the coating, so it was stripped. Now we're gonna go and clay it, we're gonna polish it, and we're gonna throw in a new coating. So first, we're claying it. This is pulling off any kind of embedded contaminants. Uh, it's also making the surface really slick. As you can see, I'm using the clay bar and all this brown residue right here, this is all the filth that's stuck in the pores of the paint. Over here, Jeremy's got the clay block. He's all about the easy life, so he's going with the, the easiest solution, the quickest way to get off all the contaminants. So we're gonna finish up this, and we're gonna jump on the polishing steps. So now the surface is clayed. Uh, I was using the clay bar, Jeremy's using the clay block. Either way, we got the surface nice and smooth. All the impurities have been pulled out of the paint. Now it's ready for the polishing steps. But I wanted to show you guys the difference between a clay bar and a clay block. So clay bar, this is a sticky substance. It pulls things out of the pores of the paint. As you can see, the brown residue, this is all the contaminants stuck in the surface. And to clean this, you just roll it around, knead it up into a new patty. But with a clay block, this is you know a lot easier, it's quicker. Uh, the things get stuck on the synthetic surface, then you just wipe it off and you're ready to go. So now we're ready to move on to the polishing steps. We'll get right back to you guys in just a minute. Nick and I just finished claying this vehicle. Obviously, we did two different types of clay. Nick did the traditional clay and I did the clay block. Obviously, I'm about the easy life. He's also about the easy life, but he just likes doing it a different way. So the finish came out really nice. It's really nice and smooth and it's prepped for a polish job. Obviously this car was coated and it wasn't polished before and you're really not supposed to coat things without polishing it out because you're basically just locking in all the imperfections. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a same machine but different pads just so you can see the comparison. So Nick is actually going to tape off the hood and right down the middle so that you can see the differences between him using a microfiber pad and me using a foam pad. Cool thing is we're going to use the same polish which is V36 and the same machine. So we are also going to use our red line towels to buff everything off and we will use some polishing pad conditioner to make sure that the pad is nice and lubricated so we don't add any additional marring into the surface. So what we're going to do is we're going to get set up and then we're going to start polishing out this puppy. So obviously there's different preparations happening here for our pads. Nick does have to spread out the polish a little bit more to make sure that it's evenly distributed in the microfiber pad so it doesn't get caked up. Me, since I have a foam, I don't necessarily have to distribute it. So to attack this, we are gonna do about three and a half passes, possibly four. We're just gonna make sure to stay even so that you could exactly get a difference between each pad.
So we just finished polishing and doing all our passes. Me and Nick are going to use the red line towels to buff this off. Make sure whenever you're getting ready to buff things off that you actually take off the tag. So now we're ready to safely buff off all our compound. As you can see, they're both almost clear. There is a little bit of visual differences, obviously due to the texture of the pads. So let's buff them off and then we'll do a comparison between the both. Obviously, Nick and I want to make sure to clean up this hood even more. We didn't think the steps we would take would be this aggressive. We would actually get a lot of micro marring. Obviously, between the two, one side has a little bit more than the other, but they're both micro marred. So what we're going to do is we're going to make sure to clean it up. And with that, we're going to use a different combination. Therefore, we're going to bust out a white pad and V38. What this is going to do is it's going to break down and get rid of all this micro marring and truly make sure that this Lexus hood truly looks black. So, with that ado, let's get started. One, two, three, fuck it. So we just finished polishing off the Lexus and the paint looks amazing. We started off by using V36 with an orange pad which took care of all the uh, old water spots, oxidation, scratches and swirls to really level out the paint work. And then we refined it all using V38 with a white pad which really jeweled the paint and brought back that deep lustrous black shine. But now we want to protect it. So using extreme top coat, this is a two in one deal here. It's got wax and sealant in one that also has fillers which is going to you know, take care of those minor scratches and swirls and the durable wax and sealant is going to give it the ultimate shine and protection. Now, Extreme Top Coat was designed for the enthusiast who's looking for some type of coating that's not expensive and super easy to use. So you can do this by hand or machine. We're going to apply it over the entire vehicle, let it sit, and we'll buff it off. So first off, you want to blotch it out. This way you're not putting a heavy clump of it in one area. And then it won't go dry as you work it into the paintwork. And we're going to work back and forth in straight lines. And this is going to help, you know, fill in those minor scratches but more importantly, it's going to get an even coat, which is going to give it more dur uh, durability and last longer. So after waiting 15 minutes, we're going to start buffing it off. Jeremy, let's get to it. Using these soft Redline microfiber towels, they're super plush, so it picks up all the product without leaving any streaks or smearing. And since it has a silk banded edge, it won't create a new scratch or swirl. Check out that correction. So as a final step, we want to go ahead and hit the whole car with a quick detail spray. This is going to take any last fingerprints, dust, debris, or anything we might have missed. Uh, it just, you know, really picks up anything that's on the surface. 
So we're going to use our new C9 Vitalize Quick Detail Spray. This is a sealant enhancing, gloss enhancing, paint protectant. It's going to really make this black pop and it's going to pick up any you know, loose dirt, debris, or dust that's on the surface without scratching. So all I have to do, shake it up, and then we'll spray it on the surface. Jeremy will follow me around with the towel picking up all the uh, extra product and we'll get the shine perfect. Alrighty guys, the Lexus is all detailed up. It looks really good. Uh, we started off by polishing it with V36 that took care of all the really deep scratches and swirls. Also the water spots. And then we refined the whole paint using V38, which took it down you know, to a finer level, brought that deep black shine back. And then to top it off, we used Extreme Top Coat. And what that did was fill in the last minor scratch and swirls. It also gave an overall wet shine, but most importantly, it gave it a durable protection against you know, harsh elements, UV rays, and also anything that can land on the surface. And then as a last touch, we went ahead and just cleaned it up using the C9 Vitalize Quick Detail Spray, which is safe for any kind of coating, ceramic, carbon, whatever you have, and it's gonna give an overall wetter look and a deeper shine. So for a little more of these products, check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage. Jeremy, let's get out of here. So obviously Nick and I want to make sure to clean up this hood and make it truly look black. So what we're going to do is we're going to... I'm going to do is for my arsenal is I'm going to pull out a white pad. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> So for a little more of these products, check it out on our website, chemicalguys.com. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, and we'll see you guys next time right here in the Detail Garage. Jeremy, let's get out of here. Don't, don't Son of a... <laughs> <laughs>